In today's video, we'll be doing a pretty exciting review of a fairly new tool called SEO Diddy. Now, SEO Diddy is one of the latest website SEO tools to be added on AppSumo. I've heard a lot of positive reviews about this tool and the features included. So let's go ahead and do a deep dive into SEO Diddy and see how it compares to some of the other top SEO tools in the market. As I mentioned earlier, SEO Diddy is one of the latest website SEO tools to be launched on AppSumo. So there is a lifetime deal and the first tier starts at $79 one-time payment. And this gives you 2,500 web pages, 300 keywords, 10 competitors, 20,000 backlinks, and 250 on-demand on-site analysis and on-demand lighthouse analysis each month. Now, if you wanted to get some more web pages and keywords, you can go ahead and upgrade to the license tier two. And if you need, um, again, some more, you can go up to license tier three. And the largest tier is the license tier five, which is $449, but that gives you 200,000 web pages, 8,000 keywords, 50 competitors, 500,000 backlinks, and 4,000 on demand um, site audits and lighthouse analysis per month. So you have the flexibility of starting with a smaller tier and scaling up if you like the tool or if you want to use it on different domains or websites. I'll go ahead and leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. Once you have your plan for SEO Diddy, the first thing that you need to do is add a project and start your journey. So this is where you'll enter your websites or any websites that you're managing. The next step is to add the keywords in which you'll be tracking for that specific website. So this is very similar to Sheer SEO and to some other SEO tools. We're just getting um, our project set up so we can go ahead and track and do analysis after the fact. So you'll be able to see some suggested keywords, some traffic estimates and some search volume. And what you want to do is go through these keywords. And if you like any of these keywords, if you want to track these keywords, just go ahead and click that plus button. And as you can see, it's going to go over into the right hand side here and we can go ahead and um, start tracking these keywords. Now, you also have the option of adding in your keywords manually. So you can go ahead and add any other keyword um, that may not be showing up on the suggested keywords, but you want to actually go ahead and track those keywords. Just go ahead and manually type those in on the right hand side here. And keep in mind that it's going to be set to the United States in terms of tracking. But if you're not um, located in the United States, just go ahead and uh, make those changes to wherever you are. And once you've added in all of your keywords, just go ahead and start the analysis. And the first thing you'll see is your domain overview. So this is going to be the key metrics and a general overview of your domain. The first metric you'll see is your domain rank. So this is the domain authority score based on the backlinks report. Next is going to be the organic keywords. So this is going to be the total count of keywords that your website is ranking for. Next is going to be your traffic. So you'll be able to see the estimated organic traffic based on impressions. Next is going to be paid traffic. Then you have backlinks and then you have referring domains. And if you scroll down, you'll see your organic shares overview. So this is going to tell you what percentage of your traffic is from what region. So in the case of my website, 40% of my traffic is from the United States, 21% is from the UK, and 8% is from India, and 5% is also from the United States, but in Spanish. So it actually will differentiate uh, between languages as well within the country. So that's a pretty cool estimate and a pretty cool metric for you to take a look at um, just to really understand where your traffic is coming from. You'd also be able to see the keywords, the value and the amount of traffic that you're getting from those specific regions. And if you scroll down, you'll also be able to see your top keywords. So this is going to show you which regions your website is ranking for specific keywords. So we can see in the States, uh, we have two top 10 positions and 96 top 100. And that will be broken down into different regions uh, for your website. So right off the bat, we get some really useful information about our website. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and take a deeper dive into specific metrics, as you can see, we have a menu at the top here in which we can take a look at the organic traffic, the paid traffic, the on-site SEO. We have a content explorer, a rank tracker, and a keyword research and backlinks tool. So let's go ahead and quickly take a look at each one of those features. So first is going to be the organic traffic. So, so here we'll be able to see a breakdown of the organic traffic, how much traffic was lost, how much was new, and how much were up or down. And we'll also be able to see a breakdown of the keywords in which we're ranking based upon those rankings. So for instance, we can see that we have a lot of keywords within the 71 to 80 zone. We also have um, some keywords within the 21 to 30, 41 to 50, and so on. So this will give you a nice overview of where your content is being ranked so that you can focus on increasing those rankings. 
And if you scroll down, you'll see the keywords in which your website is ranking for. So we can see uh, for conversion AI boss mode that uh, we're ranking fifth for this specific keyword. We'll also be able to see the traffic. We'll be able to see the search volume, the keyword difficulty, and when this was updated. So this is going to be all of the keywords in which your website is ranking for. And if you wanted to keep track of those specific keywords, you can go ahead and click on those keywords and add it to your rank tracker. So your rank tracker will be a short list of the keywords in which you would like to keep an eye on, but this would be all of the keywords in which your website is ranking for. So again, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and click on those keywords and add it into your rank tracker so that you're keeping track of it on a daily basis. And if you wanted to get some more information about any specific keyword, you can go ahead and click on that keyword. Once you click on that specific keyword, we'll actually be able to see the SERP overview from the Google uh, first page. You can go ahead and take a look at those websites that are ranking on the first page of Google and kind of get some best practices in which we can uh, employ as well to increase our ranking. But you also have another breakdown of those keywords and you get some uh, variations of those keywords. So you can get some keyword ideas, uh, you can get some related keywords as well. So this is going to be really useful because if you're ranking for a specific keyword or if you want to increase the ranking of a specific keyword, you can get some keyword ideas or related keywords and include that content within that blog post. So you'll be able to buff up that blog post with a lot more content, but also increase the likeliness that you rank for other related keywords. And you can also go ahead and check more in the keyword research section. So um, it'll actually go ahead and pull up that keyword onto the keyword research section. And again, you can um, do some further research to find some related keywords or find some suggested keywords um, that you can include within that blog post. And this gives me some really good suggestions of some related keywords in which I can either include within that blog post or go ahead and create new blog posts about those specific keywords. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the on-site SEO features included in SEO Diddy. So we can see first that we have an audit. So this is going to show us the on-page metrics in which we need to include in order to improve our website's SEO. So in order to see a breakdown, just go ahead and click on that specific section. So we're looking at the errors right now. And as you can see, we're getting recommendations of things in which we need to improve upon. And if you want to look further into that issue or recommendation, just go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, um, you'll be able to see where that issue is coming from and how you can go about resolving that issue. And if you head over to the performance tab, you'll be able to see an overview of how well your website is performing. You have your accessibility metrics, you have your best practices, and lastly, you have your overall SEO score. And that's all under the on-site section of this tool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Content Explorer. Now this is where you'll be able to compare your domain to your competitor's domain and find ideas and find keywords in which you can go ahead and create content about. Because if a competitor in your niche is ranking for a specific keyword, then it's likely that if you went ahead and created some better content, then you can also rank for those keywords. So the first thing that you want to do is enter your competitor in this toolbar and click start analysis. And once it's loaded up, you'll be able to see which blog post or which URL is bringing in the most traffic to this website. So as we can see, the best eBay sniper recommendation is ranking for 344 keywords. It gets 34,000 organic traffic each month. So what you want to do is go ahead and take a look at some of these um, blog posts that are ranking and you want to try to find a blog post that's most related to your specific uh, website and go ahead and take a look at that URL to see what type of content that your competitor created. So for instance, if you are in the make money online niche, then a blog post about how to make $1,000 fast might be a blog post which you'd want to take a look at because you can see what keywords they included in their content what type of content they included so it will give you a good idea of what um, content that you need to create if you want to rank for that keyword so these are the top pages if you want to compare the domain head over to the domain comparison section and you'll be able to see your competitors domain you can always go ahead and add more competitors and if you go ahead and click on their website you'll be able to see again just a list of uh, keywords in which they're ranking for with the traffic and the search volume, and you'll also be able to see their rank. Besides the Content Explorer will be the Rank Tracker. So this is where you'd be able to add all of the specific keywords in which you like to track for your website. So these are the keywords in which we set up at the beginning of this video when we're setting up the project. Um, but you can always go ahead and add more keywords 
um, if you like to go ahead and keep a track of those keywords. And next we have the keyword research tools. And again, we went over this a little bit earlier in the video, but it's very easy to use. All you have to do is search up the keyword in which you're doing research on, and you'll be able to see um, some metrics for that specific keyword. And you'll also be able to find variations of that keyword and related keywords as well. And the last feature included in SEO Diddy is the backlinks feature. Here is where you'll get an overview of the backlinks. You'll see how many do follow, how many no follow, and you'll also see a month by month breakdown of how many backlinks you gained or lost. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the anchor text and link. You'll be able to see the status, the type, when it was added, when it was last visited, and the PR and DR of the websites in which you got the backlinks from. Overall, I think SEO Diddy is a pretty good tool. I would give it a 17 out of 20 in terms of an overall score for an SEO tool. I do think that there's some improvements that could be made. I think they can improve the keyword research tool. And I think that they can improve the competitive research tools in order to give you more information about where you stand compared to your competitors and finding content gaps like you would find on Ahrefs. But for the most part, for the price that you're paying, and if you can't afford to pay a monthly price for Ahrefs, Moz, or Uber Suggest, then I would recommend going out and grabbing the lifetime deal. If you guys want me to do a review comparing this tool with some other SEO tools, then let me know in the comments below. And remember, you can find a link for SEO Diddy in the description below this video. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Until next time, stay well.